Hi there, YouTube, and hello, Cancer. This is going to be a reading for you for the 30th and 31st of October. It's really about the full moon in Taurus. The full moon in Taurus is going to be the 31st at 11.53 p.m. Eastern Time. It will bring up repressed issues, past trauma that we haven't dealt with. It will make emotions seem extra strong, stronger than you know they normally are, making it easy to overreact to situations. Normally, in Taurus, we would be thinking about sensuality and uh, things like that, but this time it's going to be a, a kind of frustrating. It might be frustrating, might be feel like it's um, a burden, overbearing, something being overbearing. We will get started though. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. It helps keep me motivated, inspired to do these. I will pull five of these tea leaf fortune cards or more than five. It just depends on what I pick out. Oh gosh, <laughs> we got a lot. We got a whole lot. I'm going to take it because maybe something little will make sense to somebody. That's what the hope is, right? Cancer, we have moon first. Changes in your life. Full moon in Taurus. There you go. Things that were hidden shadow sides that need to be dealt with we will be dealing with them cancer we've got target a goal-oriented person might have to do with the moon making goals needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted a since a sincere wish will be granted how lovely Bear, danger, especially in money matters. I'm going to put that over here. Tulip, great passion. Older man, dealings or relationships with an older man. Dealings or relationships with an older man. Frying pan. Trouble, accusations. It's like, I'm so hot I'm in the frying pan. <laughs> Clouds, temporary problems. So these issues that weren't, weren't the greatest, weren't very positive, spirits reminding you that these are all just temporary issues that we're dealing with. Next, we're gonna take the Energy Oracle deck and we're gonna pull one card for the theme of your general Celtic cross spread. So for Cancer, please, Spirit, for October 30th, 31st, the full moon in Taurus, what do we need to communicate with the sign of Cancer? For Cancer's highest good and only highest good, what can we expect? Walking away. Walking away from something. This card is very clear. It's showing a place that's actually not that bad. Right? Behind the gates, it looks all right. But beyond the gates, beyond knowing what's going to happen next, you see this beautiful white light, almost white yellowy light. I guess that's like a firefly right there. I can't really tell. Those look like those cherry blossom 
trees. Okay, let's find out what are we walking away from. It could be a situation, it could be a love situation, could be a family situation, could be many things. Could be about walking away from a job, a career. We will get more information. Let's get let's get a clarifier for walking away and then we'll start our Celtic cross. For Cancer, free spirit. Two more times. Whoa. <laughs> Clarifying walking away, we've got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups clarifying walking away. So this is a person who is it could be the sign cancer it could be one of yours um it could be pisces or scorpio if it's not actual person it'd be a young person like 20 to 35 years of age somebody that is a real charmer this guy probably has more dates than anybody but they're a charmer. They're going to say what needs to be said, not necessarily have the actions that prove that prove this wonderful love that they can guarantee. So that's what we've got walking away from. Walking away from an offer of love because there's something that you can see through. If it's not if it's not in in um in another person that you can see through, then it's a tactic or business type strategy that you can see through. Could very well be a relationship too. Challenge is the page of pinnacles. Could be dealing with a kid, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But most of the time, I consider this when somebody gets a message whether it be in the mail, email, some kind of word of an investment, a well-made investment coming to fruition, something actually manifesting for you in this material wor world and you hearing about it. That is your challenge. You need to hear some good news. <laughs> you need to hear good news first, right, Cancer? We've got five of wands in the foundation, conflicts, we've got some competing, possibly in love. Could it also be in a business situation, competing, arguing, conflicts, change. In the past, we have Queen of Pentacles. This is the woman who is similar to the Empress, just not as powerful. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a woman who is depicted as being in a chair at her home, enjoying the luxuries of life. Enjoying what she helped grow, what she helped build. May have been from behind the scenes, but this person was helping on emotional and material realms for the present present issue gosh if we didn't need more confirmation in cancer this is the six of swords which you all probably know means moving from bad waters to calm waters and it does have another in this card there's another person person on the journey and a child actually leaving with somebody it seems like in this card future future might have a little bit of a stalemate um, an inability to see a solution from this from this vantage view from this point so having some kind of blocks that are up how you are feeling you're feeling good, positive in a relationship. You could be feeling good. You could be feeling like 
major decisions are coming up. Sometimes this is associated with Gemini. It's, it's an emotional card about dealings with another person. And it seems like they're trying to get along on, in the picture. We also have the angel wings up there with the lion, like Leo. The magician is in your external. The magician is, you know, the, the card that lets you know that it's time to manifest. That it's time that you've, you know, you've realized what you want. You've seen the contrast in life now enough to know exactly what you want. This is Spirit saying we have everything around you that you need to make this happen. The Ace of Cups for your hopes. Be a new beginning and some new love, child or uh, partner, spouse. And your outcome. <laughs> and the outcome's the hangman. And the outcome, you'll, yes, be waiting and you might have like this was showing that you might have a stalemate. So you might have some waiting to go through. But while you're waiting, you get you get knowledge on a previous issue that you thought of a different way that you now can see from a completely new perspective. One that is almost like omnipotent and able to see, you know, 360 degrees at one time. So we will, actually we'll probably stop right there. Thank you very much, Cancer.